guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another pregnancy update. Today I'm going to be talking about weeks five to eight and boy oh boy have these weeks really been something. I feel like every day has been different, every week has been drastically different. So I can't wait to share everything with you. First, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to follow my entire pregnancy journey. And so if you want to hear about what I've been experiencing these past three weeks, then just keep watching. So I have my notes here on my phone. Oh, those are my doctor notes. Really exciting. We actually got to see the doctor yesterday, which was really cool. And I'll talk about that um, a little bit further back. Are they on here? Oh, here they are. They're on my computer. We got to see the doctor. We got to get some pictures. We had a sonogram done. So I'll be showing all of that really exciting. So I don't know if I mentioned this in my last update video, but I'm starting this pregnancy officially at 122 pounds. So yesterday when I went to the doctor for the first time, they measured me at 5'1 and a half and 122 pounds. So I think that we'll see what happens from that point forward. I'm hoping not to gain like so, so much weight because I'm really short and petite. It it looks like a lot. Um, obviously I'll gain whatever I need to have a healthy pregnancy and for baby. In terms of my fifth week of pregnancy, what I started noticing and what's continued on up until now has been, I've had very, very vivid dreams, but luckily not nightmares. So you hear that like, women, especially during the first trimester, start having very vivid nightmares. And I, I watched a lot of pregnancy update videos with people saying that they had these crazy nightmares and I was actually quite nervous for that because I don't like nightmares. I mean, I don't know anyone who does, but I've been having very, very vivid dreams. Luckily, no nightmares, which I think is pretty cool. I like, I'm really enjoying these crazy vivid dreams. The beginning of my fifth week, I wasn't feeling great at all. So I had a lot of flu-like symptoms, aches. I felt super, super tired um, in the mornings especially. And then by the afternoon, I would feel like very, very moody. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like crazy moody. Like I had some days where I would just feel so angry for no reason, like so annoyed, so angry. And half the time it would get taken out on my husband, bless his heart, oh my gosh, love him so much. Luckily that didn't last for too many days, but even just those few days where I felt so out of control with my emotions felt scary because you know, you feel so annoyed, you feel so angry and those feelings feel so valid. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, hmm, you know, like I didn't, I don't know what I was angry about or I don't know what I was annoyed about. So that was really tough to handle because it feels so genuine and like when you're experiencing it, it's your emotions. Um, but it was never like, there was never anything that was like the real catalyst for, for that. Week six, day four I wrote, I was so tired and in bed all day. I had no appetite. I needed to force myself to eat. And that was kind of, that was more of, so emotions were like a big part of week five. I think feeling tired was a big part of week six. I had a lot of days where I felt really exhausted. I would wake up, eat breakfast, then go lay down and like just be on the couch all day long. Um, I even had a few days where I literally like on day four of week six, I was in bed all day, would sleep all day long and still be able to sleep at night, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, the whole appetite thing is still something that I'm, I'm balancing. Now I'm starting to feel a lot better. I'm eight weeks and one day now. Um, but week six was tough. Week six and seven were really tough because I just didn't have an appetite. And the trickiest part about not having an appetite and feeling nauseous and having an increased sense of smell is that like all of those things are sort of battling each other. So week six, I had no appetite. Week seven, I started getting my appetite back, but I also started experiencing some nausea, nothing crazy, um, but there were a few days where I was feeling nausea um, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit in the morning, more so at night. I definitely had more night nausea than anything else. So that was tricky. There were a few nights where I would like be going to bed feeling so nauseous. Um, and then one night where I even like woke up in the middle of the night and was like convinced I was gonna throw up. I didn't luckily. <coughs> Whoa, okay. Ah, oh, if that's not pregnancy, I don't know what it is. Um, so my stomach was growling while I was filming that and I filmed like two or three videos before I sat down to film this one and 
I should have eaten something. I had breakfast, um, but that was like two and a half hours ago. And I think that's where that nausea came from. I think I was just so, so hungry. And like being in front of this light to have a ring light is a lot. So yeah, that was crazy timing too for me to be like talking about not having nausea and then to like almost throw up. Um, I had to change my shirt because I like ran downstairs to eat something and like got it all over myself. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's pregnancy. <laughs> You go from like zero to 100 and now I just feel like drained, you know, like, oh, I feel so exhausted, out of breath, um, which is definitely a symptom that I've been experiencing in weeks five through eight. I think I was talking about nausea, like don't even really remember. Um, night nausea, luckily in the eighth week, that's pretty well all gone away with the exception of what you just experienced, what you just saw. Um, but I think that again is just like blood sugar getting too low and like, baby being like, hello, I'm hungry. I have a few notes here on my computer that I just wanted to tell you why. So I upgraded from, I'd been buying the, so I've been using the Garden of Life um, prenatal vitamins. I showed you in my last video, um, the prenatals, their 90 tablet bottle. I upgraded to the 180 tablet bottle just because I had to reorder it and I thought, you know what, price difference, it makes sense, like, and I'm gonna be taking these for a really long time. So figured I'd just get the bigger bottle. Face care and eye cream I wrote down. Um, I've been using the uh, Mad Hippie, I think it's called, line of organic face products. I've also just been, there have been some nights where I've just skipped using face creams in general. I'm just trying to use like really organic healthy things for my face and my skin. Uh, I've started already, and for, I started, I'm going to say it was like week five or something. I started sleeping with a pillow in between my legs and up against my chest. Not because obviously my belly is not heavy. I have much of a belly. Well, I did, but it's not baby. But it just feels very comfortable. There's something like just so comfortable about like having, having that little bit of space in between my thighs and just having that support for my, pe my pelvis, my back. It's just so, so comfortable. I've also been sleeping on my sides primarily, a little bit of sleeping on my back, which for now is fine because it's still quite early. But yeah, just trying to get myself into the habit of sleeping on my side now. And the pillow makes that so easy um, for me at least. Like it feels very comfortable. I really enjoy it. And it's just like a regular pillow. I just have a, a little bit of a longer normal pillow that I use in between my legs and, and just like kind of hug too, which is pretty cool. I'll probably like down, down the line once I'm really big, probably get like a full body pillow. But for now, the regular pillow is working just well. I have like a crazy sense of smell. And I know I mentioned this before, but that's, that's like probably the hardest thing to have like to deal with um, last week and this week is just like the sense of smell is so, so heightened and it almost like works against you a little bit because you'll smell things like if you're going to like prepare yourself lunch or prepare yourself dinner, you'll smell something that you're going to prepare and all of a sudden you'll be turned off from it. And so that's tricky. Um, also like I live in a house with a lot, a lot of pets. <laughs> so that's tricky too. Cause like, whereas before I was pregnant, you know, the smell of dog or like the smell of all the cats didn't bother me. Now it really does. I can like really smell the cats. I can really, really smell the dog. Um, so that's, that's a bit of an adjustment as well. And probably, and I still have that, like still have that like heavy sense of smell. So I would say that's probably been the trickiest, hardest thing to navigate. For the past, like this week has been a, been a lot, lot better. But for the past two weeks, I have really struggled with eating. Um, not so much, like, it's weird. Like, I'll have an appetite, but then not really. And then when I do have an appetite, I'm only craving, like, breads and carbs. And there were a few days where, like, I would only eat bread. I could only eat carbs because anything else made me feel nauseous and anything else, like, made me feel sick. I did kind of start to realize a little bit, especially now, is that nausea, which, hello, like, Again, we just saw it on camera. Nausea tends to mean that I'm hungry. So now I don't experience so much nausea as like its own thing. Now it's more of like, if I'm feeling nauseous, then I'm probably hungry and, and should eat, eat something. And then it goes away. Luckily, I'm like part, like I'm kind of through the clear in terms of, like I still 
crave certain things, but it's not as bad as like, the aversions aren't as bad as they were during week six and week seven. Week six and week seven, yeah, I just like, oh, could only eat bread. I only wanted to eat bread. I only wanted to eat potatoes, chips, like anything that was like carby, french fries, um, obviously like not very healthy for you. Sorry, I just like ate a sandwich. And so like that plus feeling out of breath all the time is like making it a little hard to speak. That The hunger and like the eating thing has been a little bit difficult, but the days that I do feel good and the days that like that wasn't an issue or hasn't been an issue, I've tried to get in as much nutrients as possible. So eating a salad, drinking juice, like just trying to get in as much nutrients as I can when I feel good, when I don't feel like averse to, to them. So yeah, um, and then the only other thing that I've been experiencing weeks five to eight on a pretty consistent basis is just like very light period cramps. So very light cramping, which is usually, and what the doctor says is like, you know, just your uterus kind of growing and things changing a little bit. It's not like, it's not a persistent or chronic thing, um, but every now and again, I'll start to feel like a little bit of very light period cramps. So yeah, that's been been something that's been pretty consistent over the past three weeks. And that's everything, guys. Um, I feel like this update was kind of crazy and kind of insane, but it hopefully then pr provides a little bit of an insight into pregnancy in general and just, it's unpredictable. It, especially, I mean, from, from what I've read and from what I've seen, like first trimester tends to be the most unpredictable. I guess the third trimester too can be a little crazy because your baby's getting ready to come. But yeah, every day has sort of proved to be very different than the last. And that's how I'm kind of approaching and, and how I want to approach the rest of my pregnancy is just like take every day as it comes. I'm trying to be as healthy and as active as possible, but I don't want to, I don't want to like push myself or or like put that much pressure on myself. I didn't write this down, but I haven't really been working out. I just like haven't, I just haven't felt like I've, I've wanted to, but also I felt like it's, it's the weirdest feeling to feel like your body is doing so much work, but like you're not actually doing anything. Like physically, I'm not like, you know, doing like running or like physically I'm not, I don't know, like dancing or um, doing like taking a cycle class or something. Like I'm not physically like doing anything crazy, but I am physically like making a child and like making a human and that takes a real toll and like you feel it and I feel tired and I feel exhausted and so just trying to wrap my head around that has been quite interesting especially as someone who like is so used to being active and, and moving a lot um but I like I give myself a free pass and the days that I want to go like for a nice walk or the days that I want to do a little bit of strength training I do and and I know that like, because every day is so different, like that's, that's the best thing for me. So, so yeah, that's what I've been, that's what I've been trying to do. I'm going to go now because I'm just feeling like drained and kind of exhausted, but I will be back for my next pregnancy update soon. Oh, let me show you the pictures of the baby. So we had our first doctor's appointment yesterday. Almost forgot to tell you guys. Um, it went really, really well. Everything was perfect. Thank, thank the Lord. Um, everything checked out. Doctor said, I am, I look really healthy. Baby looks really healthy. Everything looks great. So let me show you the picture. So there's baby. Can you see, hopefully, the ring light is not too bright, but little baby head, little nubs, little hands. Show you my belly. It's nothing. I just ate too, so like, but here's my belly, eight weeks. That's just, you know, food. But yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about just yet. So yeah, guys, that's everything. Um, oh, I did upgrade to a bigger water bottle. I think I mentioned in my last video that I was using my Gold Swell water bottle, um, which is great and I love it, but it's just a little too small. Like I need, it just, I have to drink more water and I was filling that one up, it felt like every hour. Um, so I just got a bigger one this way and I don't have to fill it up quite as frequently and I can get through more water. But yeah, that's everything and I will update you guys really soon and I can't believe the next time I update you I'm gonna do a 9 to 12 week update so the next time I update you guys we will be in like the first trimester will be done nuts nuts it goes by fast they all say that so I am trying to enjoy it 
really am. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye, guys.